What's up world, it's your girl Dante, starting your week off right with the Source Report. Queen B does it yet again. After postponing 2017's headlining Coachella spot due to her pregnancy with the twins, Beyonce made a historic return to the main stage to close out the second night. The performance debuted her own band, which featured dozens of drummers, brass players, and some of the most impressive male and female dancers. It was an HBCU dedication. Throughout her two-hour-long performance, B had the hive buzzing out to dope visual displays and special guests like Destiny's Child, Jay-Z, and her sister Solange. Coachella is in its 19th year of being a festival, and Beyonce became the first black woman to headline it. Talk about black excellence. Over the weekend, Starbucks was under heat for a situation that took place on their Philadelphia location. Social media was in an outrage when a video went viral of two black men being arrested and escorted out of the store in handcuffs. Witnesses say the two men were doing nothing and never actually were asked to leave the store. The video caused both the Philadelphia police and the coffee company to do reviews of what took place. Starbucks found that their employees acted in the wrong and acknowledged there was a lack of evidence that there was a crime being committed. Starbucks chief executive Kevin R. Johnson made a statement stating Starbucks stands firmly against racial profiling and discrimination. On the other hand, Philadelphia Police Commissioner Richard Ross says his officers did absolutely nothing wrong and were professional. People have now called for a boycott Starbucks movement and one notable celebrity has joined the cause. Rapper T.I., who stands for the movement, has made history of boycotting establishments who discriminate against minorities. The arrested men are not facing charges. Now shifting over to some hip hop music, some of our faves dropped over the weekend. I know you didn't miss out on Nicki Minaj's two singles, Barbie Tings and Chun-Li, because those are seriously some of my favorites. She also hopped on Young Thug's new song, Anybody, and Carnage released Waterworld featuring Migos, and lastly, g Easy put out 1942 featuring Yo Gotti and YBN Namir. I'm Dante with The Source Report. Make sure you check us out on www.thesource.com, and of course, Twitter and Instagram, The Source.